Hunter x Hunter, episode 11. Still not exactly sure what to make of Leo Leo's, Leo Leo's tactics. Which you could have had anyway, <laughs> you just threw him off the ledge. Yeah, what you got? Who's prettier? Trouble X with the X gamble. What's the deal with the hood? That's gonna be a thing, maybe? Ah, uh, here, here it comes, here it comes. I knew it, knew it. Is that what that sound effect comes from? She's forgiven for her endangered species trafficking or whatever. <laughs> what? She totally just misplayed her hand. She could have had an easy win. She should have let Leorio dive all the way in to his attraction. Well, assuming she actually is a man. She's not a man. Case closed. Take the bet. Uh, <laughs> we have methods. There it is. That's the obvious one. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Bro, Gon is in the room. There are two ch children in the room. <laughs> I mean, I guess, whatever. We can dispense with all of this, given the state of this world at, at the exam when people are just plummeting to their deaths. People get decapitated and no one sheds a tear or blinks. Not the end of the world, I guess, for little Gon. I'm glad I didn't do the full 20. Oh. Well, you already know why. <laughs> Pathetic. I remember my first... <laughs> girl? <laughs> I don't know how to finish that joke. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Figured it out in 10 seconds. <laughs> We've won, but at what cost? 10 hours. That's the cost. And the steam of your friends. Gon is just fascinated as a 12-year-old boy who just has no clue. He can't possibly comprehend what just happened. Gon, once again, just happy to be here. Happy to be involved. Happy to participate. Well, they need to rein in Leorio because he's going to lose this anyway, and he's also going to lose them the whole time. It doesn't matter that they're up. Hope this is the last part of this dungeon. Leorio, just forfeit, dude. We have reached new lows. <laughs> We're still playing? <laughs> Retire. Forfeit this round, let... Just let Kalua, Kalua step in and kill someone. No, but then... She... No, that's a terrible idea. She knows. Yeah, he's just getting played. Oh, that's a good idea. But you placed the first bet. You forget, right? Wow, total gambling. I've heard there actually is an optimal strategy for this. I can never remember it. It's not totally luck. The human psychology comes into play, I, I, I think, I've heard. I'm not sure these were actually robust empirical studies, but from what I've heard, the most common opening is rock. But don't tell anyone that, because as soon as that becomes well known, that switches to paper in some kind of rock, scissor, paper style infinite regression. I think there's a follow-up to that too, that when you win a round, your, your opponent is statistically more likely to choose whatever would have won that previous round. So like if you do scissors to their paper, good chance the next round they play rock. この前やった焦点外のジャンケン大会でもグルメ旅行をゲットしたしな。そうね。わお。What a story。Probability is a lie in life. I also think if you're really worked up, higher chance you play rock because you can't choose. So your fist just stays in rock formation. Ooh. 
Damn, I can't remember. What was the... <sighs> this came up in Mob Psycho. I can't remember. Maybe I haven't learned my, my lesson from Reagan. Damn, now I'm stressing. I don't want to repeat. I don't want to lose the Rock, Scissor, Paper anime game twice. She's getting in my head and she's not even real. This time I will be victorious. Reagan was a little bit different though because he was announcing what he was going to play. I've been stuck here for 20 minutes <laughs> thinking about what to do. What do I play? I don't want to lose to this girl. He's already lifting up rock. <laughs> Wait, stall. Oof. That was close. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Why didn't she choose paper? She said no. She should have just used paper. Why? You bought 30 seconds <laughs> with that. You're just one. <laughs> Why pick up pennies when you can make a million? Right, draw with uses rock, then. Oh my god, my head is exploding. You can't tell him what to do, though. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah, but now she... Okay, that changes the whole equation. No, you should do it. You should you should do scissors. That's the Reagan thing. You say what you're going to do, and people shy away from it. If he says blatantly, if he regains confidence and says, I'm going to play scissors, she's less likely to play rock. She'll play scissors or paper so he gets a draw or a win. But he has to, like, lean into it. She's just dominating, like, his emotional energy right now. Speaking of getting worked up... Ah, no! She played scissors. At least I got it right this time. Wow, you just got rocked. And we lost so much time for nothing. Ah. Go sit in the shadows over there. Damn, she's the MVP of their team for real. Kalua, show him what's up. Father? <laughs> oh no, this could get ugly. Sexual assault. Oh, <laughs> rock, scissors, paper. <laughs> Alright. I think you're in luck. I think a lot is about to get revealed to the crew. Only we know. And I guess Kalua. I mean, I think if he wants a fair chance, he should bet on whether or not Kalua can kill him without taking his hands out of his pockets. And now he's for real unconscious. Admittedly, that's pretty cool. Imagine. I've seen him in a different anime. Mass murder. He's unfazed. Watch and learn something. Place your bets. Does, does Kalua take his hands out of his pockets or not? Death match. Finally, we set the deal, sort of. And dead, and dead, immediately. Yeah, Kalua used double team. And it was at that moment <laughs> he knew. Whoops. I'm glad this is all out in the open now. He... What is it? What the heck? Wow, he took his heart and put it in a, in a brown paper bag like it was his lunch. He looks so pleased with himself. Man, this kid is sinister. He's enjoying this. He, he like loves this. This is, could I call it artistic? It's like artistic murder. Okay, let's uh, let's keep it moving. No time to waste. We can mourn this guy's death later, I guess. So Bye. Move. I can't wait to see how they react to this. How his party reacts. 
They had no idea. Wise. Bro, <laughs> this kid is something else. <laughs> yeah. And you did? Oh, right. I guess conceptually, you know. Go to, I mean, like, surprisingly unfaced. Gone is worried. Like, honestly, it worries me a little bit. Because a lot of it fits into just a general, like, anime protagonist slot. Like, heart of gold and ultra positive. Not a negative bone in his body. A lust for life. General kindness and decency to other people. Willingness to help out. But moments like this and him being so blind, so unflinching to the darkness of the world that is so unbelievably palpable makes it not seem like goodness, but just being naive. And like, that's dangerous. He's just witnessing all these traumatic things and he just doesn't know what to do with any of it. But something's happening. I mean, something's getting through somewhere. Well, that's annoying. You couldn't just deduct it from our remaining time. Okay, 50 hours is a long time to just be sitting in a room. Maybe they can actually get some sleep. Oh, at least it's comfortable. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a dank hole. They got a, a fridge at least and sofas. <laughs> He's just so accidentally snarky. How much experience does he have? What really happened with his parents? I'm glad we're looking for Gon's father, not Kalua's father. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I suppose. This is a like a very odd comparison, but just came to mind. Partly because it's it's kind of hilarious to think about the the similarities in light of the differences. Suddenly, there's something Gojo-esque about him from Jujutsu Kaisen. Because apparently, we have someone who can easily beat anyone, at least that we've seen so far. Is like ultra cocky, has no need to like listen to anybody, and has white hair, yet is a literal child, which makes it amazing. I mean, he's a kid, right? And he has his childhood innocence and naive naivety and arrogance as well. But who is going to be the mentor to take on that challenge? It might have to be Gon, actually, because of how Gon can bypass the, the authority layer that Kilu is definitely resistant to. I mean, this is, this is the best part of this exam so far. I was wondering when the Kalua thing would come to light. It's really interesting to see their different differing reactions. Gon once again just excited to be involved. Leorio worked up. Kurapika, I don't know, making some sort of ends justify the means argument there. Like, well, I'm glad he's on our side, which, you know, not wrong. <laughs> Can't say I disagree totally. I mean, I guess what makes it not really imperative to force the issue right now is that if anyone had it coming, it was that mass murderer, right? So why would anybody really care that much? But there's something underneath that that you you would think has to come up eventually, no? And I can't help but wonder if Kalua himself is running away from it in a sense, maybe he's more aware than he's letting on because I don't know, his story was very abridged. It didn't really make, totally make sense as to why he parted with his parents. It was so abridged and had so little like emotional coherence that I already forgot what it was. Something about him slapping his mother. Kalua on the surface obviously is really cool, but at the same time, like I was saying about Gon earlier, I feel for him a lot as a kid. There's a lot of things that are very relatable about him. I mean, obviously his assassin talents are otherworldly, but he's just a dangerous combination of a gifted kid who kind of has lost faith in authority has so many unknown unknowns like just so many things he doesn't understand that he thinks he understands combined with a barrier to any new information coming in from anyone he doesn't absolutely respect but like how are people going to earn his respect when he's evaluating things on like a power scale and he's the most powerful it's like kids who really believe themselves to be intelligent and also unfortunately come up against adult unintelligence or unfairness where they you know they correctly identify that there are failings in adults maybe that even leads to a disappointment and like a a loss of major faith that was a staple of their identity and you know their, their feelings of safety up to that point so looking to remedy that emotional vacuum you place a little bit too much stock in your own ability to conceptualize understand the world and you form what you think is a is a very solid model for what people are what life is and then you judge other people's intelligence based on how closely they adhere to what you already believe so adults that come along that actually are intelligent and do have something to provide are dismissed because they are not complementary to what you you're holding on to really 
really tightly, your new set of survival beliefs, or worse, because of that very thing, are a threat. That's why I think it might have to be Gon, because Gon will never play the authority card. It doesn't feel like he's, he has that in him. He will just be good. I mean, he's also a kid, which is like kind of the danger with the two of them. But I think he's already established himself as having a backbone with Kalua. One of my worries for their dynamic, like I, I mentioned, is that with this kind of personality pairing as kids, or even as adults, often the, the more authoritative one just ends up leading everything, and the submissive one just follows, thinking the other person's assertiveness is intelligence or competence. But Gon has shown instances where he he's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what I want to do. All due respect, right? Like he's nice about it. He's cool about it. So maybe it is Gon's friendship that will help Kalua undo some of what he's developed. And maybe that works both ways. I mean, Kalua obviously has things that Gon doesn't. So far, it hasn't really been pushed to a head because they're on the same side. And like, who gives a crap about the death of this mass murderer? But you can imagine that it might one day, especially outside of the scope of the exam where things are a lot more complicated and it's not as binary of a, of a goal or desire.